scattered. They're actually up quite early. There we go. You can just see just over there. There's a whole lot of them sitting in those two big marula trees. Now, there's one just on the left of that branch. There we go. But they keep running to the tops of the trees, to the leaves, which makes it quite difficult for us to, of course, see them. But I think once they settle down, maybe they'll come out and play. But again, everything is doing the same thing first thing in the morning, is warming up in the lovely warm sun. Isn't that nice with the sun on the vervet monkey's back? Beautiful. Oh, there's another little one coming out to say hello. And then you can see as you spot one, you start to see a whole lot of them move. There's about five of them that are running around there now. Hello, your whole family's here. And I'm sure they're going to be a bit sad now at this time of the year because they're not going to be, well, feeding on much fruit just yet. It's still coming. Craig, where you are, you see that the... There's a little bird that's just landed on the tree. Oh, no, it's just gone off. I think there's white. That's okay. I think there's white-crested helmet trikes also fluttering around the vervet monkeys. But we'll see if we can spot any of them when they settle down. But there they are, sitting on the branches. And it'll be lovely where they are now. They've positioned themselves up nice and high. And, of course, warm air rises. So they'll not just be getting the warmth from the sun. Do you see there? That was, I'm sure that was a... Helmet trike that just tried to bop that monkey on the head that just flew through screen because it's making a a very helmet trike call that sort of no that sounds like more like an ox pecker that's not the look that I was going for Megan are you still there just checking everyone's being very quiet in vinyl control today <laughs> I was just wondering again if they hadn't fallen asleep on me perhaps gone for a little coffee break decided to just let me sit chat. Yes, yeah, scratch, scratch, scratch. Now, grooming is such an important part when it comes to all the various animals out here. They have to try and keep themselves as clean as possible. So, even though they are scratching, you might think, oh, mange, or perhaps an infestation of parasites. No, it's good that they are scratching like that to try and uh, get rid of all those parasites, and they'll eat them too. Oh. Now, Nancy, hello, Nancy. Do you know that my car's name is Nancy? Just some random trivia for you. You're wondering, what do these monkeys eat if there's no fruit around? And then they'll start to eat uh, grass, they'll eat the, the shoots, they'll eat the seeds, they'll even pull out the roots and eat the roots. All the lovely new sprigs of leaves that were coming through, they will feast upon those. But now the tables are turning slightly because, of course, the vegetation is chaining, changing. So any flowers that are around as well that are not poisonous, well, it depends, poisonous to us versus poisonous to a monkey is completely different just because of our digestive systems being slightly different and they're able to tolerate a lot more than what we can so they'll eat a number of different things but remember the jackal berries and the guari trees are going to start bearing their fruits now so they will have another bash at eating some fruit before they really go into the hard times gum so if there's any gum on the sides of trees coming out of the bark they will eat it too Now, Manic Pixie, you've said that monkeys are your favorite. They are not my favorite, if I have to be completely honest with all of you. I keep having raiding experiences of monkeys that are so clever, they outsmart me all the time. And then they come in and completely trash my rooms, which is a little bit ridiculous. And I don't enjoy cleaning up all the toothpaste and the conditioner and shampoo and everything else that they've squirted all over my entire room, all over my linen, all over my floor. So... They're not my favorite, but they are funny to indeed watch when they're out here doing normal monkey things and not when they come into the houses and act like humans. That Then that's not fun at all, of course. Where have you gone? There's still a couple. You can just see a tail here and there every now and then. But I think they're going to come down again and carry on foraging. Hello, little one. You are very it itchy. Now, Geeky, you're wondering if the vervet monkeys will actually groom each other. Most certainly, allo grooming is a very import important sort of uh, technique that animals will use to strengthen the bond between various members, and in this case, of a troop. So, yes, they do indeed. And, and normally it's first thing in the morning that you'll actually see them sort of just resting in the sun and almost going into a trance-like state, and they will form a little train and they will groom themselves. The baboons do exactly the same thing too. But that little one that was on the left that seems to be quite itchy, maybe it's got some fleas or something like that, and has been too worried about playing and having lots of fun. 
and mom hasn't had an opportunity to give it a good groom yet. What are you looking for? Hmm? Do you see that? Just checking their little holes as well. They will eat insects too. Are flexible they are too now jw great question for me this morning uh, it was do, do they fight like baboons yes so what you will see is obviously it's more impressive to see baboons fighting because they're much larger in size but when vervet monkeys do fight they often first stand on branches show their teeth expose their canines and sort of jump around push down on the branches making quite a bit of noise again showing their teeth sort of a threat display but uh, they will they'll, they'll chase each other off no animals like conflict because when you engage in a battle, the chances of you getting injured and then dying because of that injury or actually just being killed off in that fight, is, there's definite possibility. So they need to be as careful as they can. So normally it's a lot of shouting. They'll be, you know, calling about and, and like I say, rustling the leaves, trying to make themselves look big and scary. And then they hope that's enough to chase uh, the others away.